Hi, this is Nick Millington, leader of the Safety Task Force. A brief update today to let you know what we are doing to deploy more safety equipment across the country in the next six to nine months. We know that unassisted lookout working and lookout operated warning system working, so human forms of lookout, are our highest risk work types. They account for 60% of our near misses and over the last 15 years they account for 80% of all track workers that are sadly struck and killed by trains. So we are heavily focused in the safety task force at eliminating human forms of warning system. Now, there's a number of ways that we're doing that. We are reviewing the maintenance plan and we are systematically batching tasks and moving them into line blockages and into T3 possessions and that's going well. And we are also or we have also been trialing a train activated warning system that's got the same safety integrity level as our signaling system and uh, evaluating whether or not that has a role to play on our railway to reduce the risk to our track workers. In March, we had a trial site in Tea Bay in Cumbria, and I visited that site with the team from Cumbria to understand how they were getting on with the trial. And the next few bits of footage will show you how I got on. I'm out on site this morning at Tea Bay, and I'm looking at the new SatWaz trial installation here. And SatWaz is a treadle activated warning system that significantly reduces the risk of human error. We're planning plenty of these sites throughout this year and um, it's really great to come here today although it's a bit chilly on site I must say and um, and see this system in action and um, I'll post some further videos and films later um, to show you um, the progress that we're making here on site today. We are down at the SNC inspection site at Tebow, not far from the M6, there's a little bit of road noise next to me here but we've got Neil with the uh, SatWest control box, it's working very well, feel very safe. Uh, we've talked through uh, what happens when one train strikes in and then the second train and um, how, the, how the, the system is set up to, um, to reduce human errors uh, and, and the warning has been very effective so um, so far so good and um, one thing I've noticed uh, coming out of the West Country and being in, uh, in, in, in Cumbria is uh, the temperature has dropped quite a lot and uh, it's absolutely freezing up here but uh, I'm sure I'll get used to that. So I'm pleased to say that the trial at T-Bay was successful. The train activated warning systems reduced the risk of human error significantly and they were welcomed by the team and the trial was successful against the criteria that we set out. Since March, we have been to our systems review panel, a national panel of engineering experts, and we have a uh, certificate authorising us to deploy this type of um, train activated warning equipment right across the country. I've got to say a particular thank you to Robbie Jones for his help with the um, systems review panel sign off and also to the panel themselves who helped us successfully and quickly gain a full approval. We've also uh, heavily consulted with our trade union colleagues and we have concluded union consultation, which allows us now to introduce this kit right across the country. I've got to say a particular thank you to Mark Hall, who's a full time RMT union rep for his constructive challenge, his professionalism and his experience, which helped us get to a, 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 a method of work with SATWAS that was mutually acceptable to everybody and also aided, will aid the safe introduction of the kit. We originally had 300 sites proposed for SATWAS installation as a, a notional starting point. We've put some extra rigour into that um, site selection and we've looked um, hard at whether or not we can employ protection or uh, so line blockages or, or T3s in the areas. We've also looked at the layouts and the areas um, that were being proposed to make sure that they are eligible for SATWAS installation. And we now go forward with a plan 
that sees 175 sites across the country that will now be in where SATWAS or train activated warning systems will be installed. We've got multiple designers, we've got multiple installers, we've secured all of the materials and we've got a, a commissioning plan. And if you look at the slide that I'm just about to share now, you can see that um, we've already got 10 sites installed and over the next nine or so months, we've got a very detailed resource loaded plan that takes us to 175 sites nationwide. We may even go higher. We've got training underway right across the country to train our teams on how to use the, the equipment. And as we commission SATWAS, we will decommission Laos and lookout work uh, and therefore reducing risk significantly. We've set up a specialist panel that will meet every month to oversee the introduction of SATWAS equipment to ensure that we do this in the most professional and safe way. And um, that panel will run for at least 12 months, possibly longer. Uh, and we will make sure that any uh, concerns that we that we receive in the first instance, that we deal with them quickly, swiftly and safely. So I'm looking forward to the um, the, 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 the SATWAS program becoming a reality over the next nine months and reducing the risk to our track workers. So that's enough for this update for now. In future updates, I will let you know how we're getting on with the programme. And um, later this week, I'm out on site and I'll provide a further update um, dressed in orange again uh, from a site location. I hope that's been useful for you. All the best. Thank you.